In this video, we delve into 15 essential tips and tricks for optimizing your Gmail experience. From managing your inbox to boosting productivity, these practical insights will help you make the most of this popular email service. Number 1. How to undo a sent email Imagine you're about to send a birthday message to Ed Arabia, meticulously reviewing it for spelling and grammar errors. Confident in its correctness, you hit the send button. Yet, as with many of us, email's unwritten law seems to trigger spelling and grammar mistakes right after sending. Fortunately, Gmail offers an undo send feature. Surprisingly, it doesn't immediately dispatch your email. Instead, Gmail briefly holds it. In your Gmail settings, found in the upper right corner, under the general tab, you'll find the undo send option, usually set to a default of 5 seconds. This means you have a brief 5 second window to halt the email from being sent, allowing you to make revisions. You can extend this window up to 30 seconds for added reassurance. After making this change, you're composing an email to Ed Arabia. Despite a thorough review, you notice several errors just after hitting send. Thankfully, there's a prompt at the bottom that lets you undo the send, reopening the message for corrections. Once you're satisfied with the changes, you can confidently resend the email. Number 2. Schedule Email Sending for Maximum Impact This feature allows you to compose your message and then specify when you want the email to be dispatched. In the lower left corner, the familiar send button awaits. Right alongside it, you'll notice a drop-down arrow with additional sending options. By clicking on this arrow, you gain access to the ability to schedule the email's dispatch. Initiating the scheduling process opens a prompt with several commonly used options. You can choose to send it the next morning at 8 a.m., a time when people typically check their emails. Alternatively, you can schedule it for the afternoon or the following morning. After making these selections, I click on the Schedule Send button, confirming that my message is now slated for dispatch. All scheduled messages are accessible in the left-hand menu under the Schedule category, if you wish to make any changes or edits to the message before it goes out, you can cancel the scheduled send, make the necessary modifications, and then reschedule it. Number 3. Simplify Email Management with Templates You can utilize templates to streamline your email responses. To set up templates, navigate to the Settings gear in the top right corner, and click See All Settings when the menu opens. Move to the Advanced tab, and under it, you'll find the Templates section. Enable this feature and save your changes. Now, when you receive a customer's message, click Reply and type your response. In the lower right corner, you'll notice an ellipsis icon with additional options. Clicking on it reveals a Templates feature, allowing you to save your current message as a template. You can name your template, like Customer Feedback, and save it for future use. This efficient use of templates simplifies your responses and enhances your email management process making it much more convenient. Number 4. Customize your email address for improved control. For effective filtering and tracking of your email messages, in one scenario, you can introduce periods into your email address. The interesting aspect is that Google disregards these periods in email addresses, allowing you to utilize them as you see fit. For example, if your email address is example at gmail.com, you can insert periods in various ways like x.ample at gmail.com. Inserting a period can make it easier for recipients to parse your email address. Notably, Google not only overlooks periods but also the plus symbol and any text that comes after it. Therefore, you can further personalize your email address by inserting the plus symbol and adding descriptive text. Remarkably, emails sent to these customized variations will still arrive in your inbox as usual. This capability empowers you to efficiently filter messages and retrace the origins of incoming emails, enhancing your control over your email communications. Number 5. How to set a dark theme Dark theme which serves as a relief for your eyes, especially following extended periods in front of a computer screen. Begin by heading to the top right-hand corner of the Gmail interface and clicking on the Settings gear icon. This action opens the Quick Settings menu, which houses various customization options, including the ability to modify your theme. You can either pick from existing images or explore more options. When you select, pick your theme, and choose an image, you gain access to additional customization settings. These options include adjusting the text background to be light or dark, adding a vignette effect, or even applying a background blur. 
Moreover, you can opt for a genuine dark theme, featuring a dark background and light text for enhanced visual comfort. After configuring your preferred theme, simply click, save, and your selected theme, including the dark theme, is immediately activated. Number 6. Streamline email management with a reading pane. Typically, when you click on an email, it occupies the entire screen, causing your inbox to disappear. To access your inbox again, you must navigate back using the back arrow. However, there's an alternative solution. Toggle on the split pane mode located in the top right-hand corner. Enabling this mode divides the screen into two sections. As a result, when you click on an email, you can view its content on one side while keeping your inbox visible on the other. This layout significantly enhances your efficiency in managing your messages. Additionally, you have the flexibility to adjust the position of the split, choosing between a vertical or horizontal configuration, allowing you to tailor your email viewing experience to your preferences. Number 7. Access your emails offline. To enable this feature, start by clicking on the settings gear in the top right hand corner proceed to click on see all settings next navigate to the offline tab located on the far right side within this tab you'll find an option to enable offline mail upon activation the system will prompt you to select how much storage space you're willing to allocate on your computer and determine the time frame for which you want to store emails ranging from the last 30 days to the last 90 days you can also choose whether to include attachments or not in addition, when you log out of Gmail, you'll have the choice to retain the data on your computer or remove it. After configuring these settings, save your changes. Number 8. Master Gmail with Keyboard Shortcuts One crucial keyboard shortcut to remember is Shift and the question mark symbol. Pressing this combination will reveal a comprehensive list of available keyboard shortcuts. The list is divided into two sections. The top part displays shortcuts that are already enabled by default, while the lower part contains additional shortcuts that you can activate by clicking on, Enable. Number 9. Mute Noisy Email Conversations After a series of interactions, it became evident that the conversation was unproductive, with the customer expressing dissatisfaction despite your generous offer of a 2% discount on future purchases. To avoid the ongoing exchange and maintain a clutter-free inbox, you can simply right-click on the message, in the menu that appears, you'll find the option to mute the conversation. Muting prevents any further responses from appearing in your inbox. You can reverse the mute action by searching for messages labeled as mute and right-clicking to unmute, reinstating the conversation in your inbox. This feature helps you maintain a tidy inbox while still offering the flexibility to rejoin the conversation when needed. Number 10. Manage multiple email signatures Scroll to the bottom of the message composition window, where you'll find the insert signature option. You can navigate to manage signatures. This takes you to the general settings section, where you can create and customize your signatures. In this panel, you have the flexibility to create distinct signatures for different purposes. For example, you might name one signature default for standard emails and another promotion for specific campaigns. This way, when you compose an email, you can easily select the appropriate signature from the drop-down menu, offering you a quick and convenient way to adapt your sign-off to various email scenarios. Number 11. Organize emails with various stars. Clicking the star next to a message adds it to the star category. However, you can expand the repertoire of stars at your disposal. To do this, navigate to the top right corner, click on the settings gear, and select See All Settings. This will take you to the general settings view, where you'll find the stars section about halfway down the page. Here, you can customize your stars by arranging them in your preferred order or selecting from different presets, such as four stars or all available stars. After making your choices, save the changes. Now, when you click on a message, you can apply various types of stars to categorize and prioritize your emails. This feature enhances your email organization, enabling you to find and focus on specific types of messages more easily, from blue stars to green check marks and red exclamation marks. You can even search for messages with a particular star by typing has star name in the search field, streamlining your email management. Number 12. Set up a vacation responder. Whether it's for a vacation or any other reason, you can set up a vacation responder. 
This handy feature ensures that anyone who emails you during your absence receives an automatic response, letting them know that you're currently unavailable. To enable this feature, go to the top right corner and click on the settings gear, then select, see all settings. Within the general tab at the bottom of the page, you'll find the vacation responder. You can turn it on and specify the start and end dates of your vacation. If you forget to turn it off manually upon your return, Gmail provides an option to end it automatically. You can set a subject for your auto-response, compose a message, and even choose whether you want it sent only to people in your contact list. Once you've configured your settings, click, Save Changes. From then on, anyone who emails you will receive an auto-response, ensuring that your contacts are informed of your temporary unavailability. You can easily disable the vacation responder and make adjustments to your settings as needed when you're back. Number 13. Free up Gmail storage space. To free up space, you can begin by identifying and dealing with large emails. In the top search field, click on it and select the down arrow. You can filter emails that are greater than a certain size. For instance, emails larger than 20 megabytes could be considered sizable. After you set the criteria and click search, you'll receive a list of emails that are consuming significant space. You can then decide to delete any unnecessary emails to reclaim storage. Another way to proactively save space is to avoid attaching files directly and, instead, insert links to files stored in Drive. This approach is advantageous as it doesn't use up additional space in your sent email or the recipient's inbox. Moreover, it encourages collaboration, allowing recipients to edit documents directly in the cloud, reducing the need for back-and-forth email attachments. Number 14. Access Gmail through email clients like Outlook. To set this up, start by clicking on the settings gear in the top right corner and selecting, see all settings. In the settings menu, navigate to the forwarding and pop IMAP tab. Here, you can choose between using pop and IMAP protocols to access your emails via your email client. The key difference is that with pop, all your emails are downloaded to the client, while IMAP allows you to interact with emails stored in the cloud. Your choice depends on your preferences. In this example, IMAP is enabled, and then you can save the changes. By following the prompts, you can integrate your Gmail with Outlook or any other email client you prefer. Number 15. Customize your Gmail inbox sorting options. By default, Gmail organizes your messages chronologically, but there are various other methods to manage your inbox effectively. To change your inbox settings, start by clicking the settings gear in the top right corner and selecting settings. Here, you can choose your preferred inbox type. You can stick with the default chronological order or prioritize important messages, which Google can help identify over time. Other options include sorting by unread, starred, or using the priority inbox feature, which combines various inboxes into one. Feel free to experiment with these settings to find the inbox type that suits you best. These were the top 15 tips and tricks for Gmail. If you found this video helpful and want to see more content like this, please give it a thumbs up. For future videos, be sure to subscribe, and if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like me to cover on this channel, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.